took a short trip from Cotton Candy Machine in Williamsburg, north into Greenpoint, to visit with one of my favorite people, artist and musician Dmitry Druchin. We just call him Dima. They say that every sixth person in Greenpoint is either an artist or a musician, and I gotta tell you, it's a real pleasure to know this one. Hello! Dima! Welcome! How are you, man? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for having us over. Nice. Hello, sparkles! Letter. Letter, not sparkles. Dima has been hard at work preparing his first solo show here in New York City, Vision Quest pushing and evolving his already iconic painting style, creating sculptures, even writing and recording an album to accompany the show. I had the opportunity of sitting with Dima in his studio and talking with him about his process. When you have an opportunity like a solo show, what do you go through to prepare for that? This one I feel like has been like the most like thought out one and like methodical, one. and it's also like it's getting like more personal in the sense that I'm like I am putting myself in them too, and like really kind of taking things directly from my life. So the way I used to approach uh, each painting is like a, like the world in there it has nothing to do with this one, but now it's kind of starting to like uh, yeah, or like mirror itself, and you know like a lot of this, all all these are, are pretty like emotional for me. Like, when it's a solo show, it's fun kind of approaching it like, uh, this is my album. So, like, you know, I always try to, like, you know, have smaller pieces, like, more uh, complex ones, you know. Just like, you know, with songs, you have, like, big epic songs and, uh, you know, the rockers and the, like, slow jams. And, you know, I kind of, in some way, like, visually try to do the same thing. Um, and just, like, you know, is this, like, a good album? That's brilliant. Beyond Dima's fine artwork, he's also had quite a career as an illustrator, collaborating with musicians and performers. He's really created some unforgettable album art. I'll start with this one just because uh, this is the first album I've ever uh, did a cover for. That's, that wasn't like a, a demo tape from. When did I was you plan 12. your pants with that album? No, this is <laughs> this is how I dress all the time. <laughs> what year was this? This is I think 2003. Uh, this is my old band of fiction, and this is the first uh, painted album cover I ever did, uh, which is the last fiction album uh, that was put out in Germany when we toured Europe in 2005. That was a fun one. This is a British band called We Are the Ocean. When I got it, I'm like, oh, this is actually really cool. <laughs> yeah. And the inside is this. This one. And this. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, I love Father John Misty. Can you tell the story about uh, him reaching out to you? Yeah. So I get like an email from Josh, all caps, very excited. He's been looking at my artwork online for, uh, he said, the last couple of hours. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, I really love your artwork. I just made a record, you know, I was in the Fleet Foxes, and it's gonna come out on Sub Pop. Uh, he like sent, gave me, you know, the, the mastered version of this before this was a thing. Uh, he's like, listen to it, and if you like it, uh, I want to ask you something. I was like, do you want me to do the cover? Because I'll totally do it. And it became like successful, and just like all, it's just like it's all wins. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he played on like almost all the major late yeah. night television shows. Yeah, and, which is very, you know. very surreal to see. I put a lot of, uh, you know, positive energy into it while working, and just like I like that it's, you know, it, it makes people happy and. Uh, and that it's attached to, uh, you know, a great piece of music. Yeah. So these are CDs I've done. I did three comedy albums uh, for Reggie Watts, Mark Maron, and Eugene Merman for Comedy Central uh, Records. That's rad. All for Comedy Central? Mm-hmm. Vending Machine, my friend Robbie Grant's uh, EP, which uh, the cover will be in the show. Yup. That's most recent. Yeah. Good work, man. Thank you. That's a that's a that's quite a journey you just took yeah. us on. Yeah, it's uh, you've done a lot of work. Yeah, it's been fun. I love doing uh, album covers. Uh, my favorite thing to do as an illustrator. I used to kind of divide the two in my head of like, well, art is this and music is this, but like the further along I go, I think what a lot of this show is also about is kind of just like, well, I start really seeing a lot of similarities. You know, music you have it takes time to listen to. 
art you can you know you can just look at a painting you can spend time with it but like the amount of time you spend with it really depends on you when I approach records I think of it the same way I don't think of it as just like these are just a bunch of songs I'm throwing in there it's like there's the whole you know there's a lot of thought into you know pacing and just like the arc of it same way with the the show I was thinking what what needs to happen is that song, I'm a Machine. Helper. Helper, I'm a Machine. We need to sell that song to Apple. And they need to use that <laughs> song for their commercials. Like you just get just imagine it though, like that whole like evolution of every single device Apple's mm -hmm. ever made. I'm a machine. My latest band, uh, Unconditional Love. We have a song called Helper, and I wrote it from the perspective of a helper robot. So Apple, if you want it, it's yours. I have no problem doing it. And then they go through and they get like all these other people to cover that song, because it's like timeless and perfect. <laughs> and get David Bowie to do it. You could hear David Bowie. I'm a machine. <laughs> I'm a machine. I can do anything. <laughs> Better than you. I do a pretty good one. Yeah, you sounds good. <laughs> All right. Dima's the best. Oh my gosh. That was so fun. What a good time with Dima. And I'm really glad that he does a good David Bowie impression. I'm glad he does a good David Bowie impression. Um, well, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, share it if you can. Uh, uh, you know, follow us, subscribe. What, I, I'm new to this, so do, do things so other people watch it. Watch it again. And uh, have a good night, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.